we are to find the volume of the solid that is generated when we rotate the graph y equals 3 plus secant x from minus pi over 3 to pi over 3 and the line y equals 5 so the region bounded by these three restrictions which will be described by this red and blue graph here we're supposed to rotate that about the line y equals 3 if we do that we would wind up approximately with this shape here it would just be flipped over the line y equals 3 and if we were to draw a representative washer from this it would have a width of dx rotated around and it would have this thickness dx and we would have an outer area described by this outer radius of 2 all the way from the line y equals 5 to the line y equals 3 so we'd have that radius and then we would subtract from that this hole the inner radius and then that would give us the volume of the entire solid so what we need to find is that outer area times the thickness and then that inner area times the thickness and then integrate that all the way from minus pi over 3 to pi over 3. Well that outer area is just going to be pi r squared and we just talked about that r, that radius, is going to be everything from 3 to 5 all the way down. So we have pi times r squared so that's going to wind up being 4 pi. That inner area then times the thickness is going to be this graph all the way along 3 plus secant x and then we will just subtract from that y equals 3 and then we'll get that distance right there between the graph and the line y equals 3 all the way down so if we were to Simplify that a little bit, we'll wind up with pi times secant square x. So our integral then that we're going to need to evaluate will be from minus pi over 3 to pi over 3, 4 pi, the outer radius, minus pi secant square x, the inner radius, times the thickness dx. And then we just evaluate that. So we have 4 pi x from minus pi over 3 to pi over 3, minus pi tangent x, from minus pi over 3 to pi over 3. So we substitute here and we have pi over 3 minus negative pi over 3. We'll figure out what the tangent of pi over 3 is. Draw ourselves a unit circle on a set of axes. Find our angle pi over 3. Drop the vertical. And remember that for the angle pi over 3 the sides are 1, 2, square root of 3. Tangent is y over x, so that's going to be the square root of 3 over 1, or just the square root of 3. And if we come down to the fourth quadrant here, where we would have the tangent of minus pi over 3, we're going to have the same thing, except it'll just be negative, because the tangent is negative in the fourth quadrant. So evaluating, we have 4 pi times pi over 3 minus negative pi over 3 minus pi, that's this pi here, times the tangent of x evaluated from minus pi over 3 to pi over 3, and that's this here, square root of 3 minus negative square root of 3. So we have 4 pi times 2 pi over 3 minus 2 root 3 pi. We could factor a 2 pi out of each of those, and we would wind up with 4 pi over 3 minus the square root of 3.